Hey my friends, it's Big Stu here. Thank you for joining me once again for another unboxing video. Now today we got something different. Oh, I can show you this. Let me move this box out of the way a little bit. This is a Batman themed box by Culture Fly. And uh, this is a brand new box and uh, first box that they've done. And I'll talk about that for a few minutes. Don't know a lot about it, but I caught my eye, wanted to try it since I'm a big Batman fan. Well, first off, I'm wearing a shirt that uh, my wife had gotten from me uh, last year. And it's um, went with the tie-in with Batman vs. Superman from a, well, a couple years ago at Dale Hernart uh, Batman card that he had to promote it. But anyways, so that's that. And uh, so I thought it would be fitting to wear that. Haven't worn that shirt before. And our last videos, um, I believe that they were my son boxes. So... I don't have a shirt, new shirt to show uh, from our previous videos. Anyways, I do apologize. Last week, there was no new video. Had a lot going on at school. Was a little bit under the weather. And uh, and I didn't really have anything new and to do. And I didn't have my Legos in order to do a video or talk about comics. But I will try to remember at the end that I want to have an nose itching apologize but i am going to start something soon in the next few weeks and uh or probably maybe be about maybe two three weeks before it rolls out but i'm working on starting a new segment to our videos that are a little bit different so i will talk about that in a little bit anyways this is an all batman theme box and it's a really cool looking box it's pretty neat I know uh, it's good size. It's a world's finest collection box. Now this is it's done by a company called Culture Fly, and built by Culture Fly. Let's show you that down here. And here it is. And from my understand, you can go to them culturefly.com, and they uh, I think are doing these. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle theme box. I think they're doing the Nickelodeon box, which the first one seemed awesome. It was Rugrats and different things, Rugrats and different things going on in that, and dealt with their animated stuff. But these are a quarterly box, so it comes out four times a year, every three months. Normally, it's like a fifty dollar box that comes out, like I said, um, every three months. Now I got a discount on this, so that's why I tried. I tried it out. I think I got 20% off and uh, something like that, 20 or 25. So I went and tried it and I actually got the box within two weeks of ordering it. So, which I was very happy. The box has been out because it has a longer window with this type of a box. You can see what it is, have an idea because you have a three month window. And I don't know if maybe eventually they'll sell out and you won't be able to. But this, so far, this box has not closed, does not have a closed date at all, where you can, know, you know, um, where the Funko boxes, there's a closed date, you can't order them anymore unless you become a member and they have some left over, then you can back order. But as far as new customer joining in, you can't really, you know, get that box because it, you know, is closed date. And some of them do sell out. So anyways, so I'm very excited. I do know a couple things that are in this box. This box comes just like this, but it's shrink-wrapped. Mine's not shrink-wrapped. My label's not on here. My son had already opened it up. He got it before me. But this is how the box would come to you, but it would just be shrink-wrapped, and your label would be on the shrink-wrap. Um, it has a little nick here. It got banged up in transit. Um, just a little bit there. It did affect something very lightly in the box. Um, that I did notice, but overall, and it's a very heavy box. I mean, it's even though it's kind of like a suitcase flat, um, is the idea it's like a storage box, but it's very much very heavy. And once you see what's in it, then you'll understand why it's heavy. So let's open it up. And inside is just a Batman kind of a bat symbols all inside. And then, of course, you just kind of have things laying there. So, we'll open it up and we'll take a look see what we have. Pretty cool. Okay, we have a card. I'll wait on the card. And it's a card on one side. Then it tells you real quick what's in it. 
I just spun that around, but it's a card on one side. So, okay, this I knew about. So we'll look at this. It's a uh, Batman statue and uh, like a little vinyl figure. It doesn't have anything that moves at all. And you also, you can take it out of the box. That actually shows you in the back. And you can take it out and change it a little bit so you can view it a little bit better still in the box. So it's about the size of an action figure. And when I first saw this, I just thought this was a DC Direct action figure. And But this is an exclusive, as you can see on the front, the label, exclusive with them. But it is very much the size of an action figure. I hate these in the plastic. You feel like you're going to break it. Trying to get it out. Okay. Here's this is. And it has a stand. It has a little bit of art in the background. So it's based off the new 52 uh, Rebirth Batman. And uh, which is cool. So it really reminds me very much of an action figure except for the fact that it's just all vinyl instead of plastic Let's see so he stands oh almost dropped him he stands here he's not super tall he's very detailed i'll try to get him a little closer for you and everything so it is the new latest costume and all and then you can stand him on a stand Kind of purple on the inside. And this is kind of a hard plastic or a hard vinyl, I guess it is, the cape. It feels a little different than the figure itself. And so it has holes on the, the ink in the, the heels of the foot. That slid off. And let's see if I can get this on here. Without forcing it. I don't think I see the hole on it. Okay. Okay. I got one in, and I'm trying to be careful so I don't push it too much. And oh, here it is. Oop, the other one came out. Should have planned this a little bit better, so I apologize to that. And everything so 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 it's pretty cool I do like it it'd be neat if they did do some other uh, figures the same style and this is something that they made for each box and I'll tell you about some suggestions that I did make on this and I'm not even sure if I'm putting this I guess I am putting it right anyways I know there's more things to get involved in here and uh, I'm spending way too much time on this and I apologize so okay. but I will eventually probably take it out eventually and and display it i will definitely keep my box and all just so it's more viable my batman stuff i don't plan on trading in the future anyways but okay i got it done 20 minutes later got it done okay so that's in there and it's pretty cool i knew about that and i have a t-shirt it's very soft and it's all black and it's Wayne Enterprises. So that's pretty cool. I do like this shirt. Very nice.
and all. So definitely like the shirt. And World's Finest by Culture Fly. So this seems all I think a lot of this is all gonna be exclusive just to them that this isn't from anything else. So I'm just going it real quick. So it seems slightly heavy, but the material isn't it's a real nice material. It almost feels like when those long sleeve shirts were like a hoodie is. It's like that. It's a little thicker than a t-shirt, it feels like. But it's, uh, you know, it doesn't feel super hot. And it feels very nice, a very nice quality, you know. So it's a 6% cotton and 40% polyester. But it, it seems like a really nice deluxe type of a shirt, you know, nicer than just a regular shirt. Okay, now we got a coffee mug. And Wayne Industries, Batman. Mug pops up the top, and you drink it that way and close it. So, again, this seems very nice. Uh, nice quality. And uh, so I don't really have much complaints. Pretty cool. I'm not really a big fan of having a handle. I wouldn't really use the handle that much on it. And uh, so that doesn't come off. But, I mean, that's not a bad thing. But... I usually like to just hold, you know, the mugs in my hand. So that's nice. I'll put that over here. So and then this is the other thing, kind of cool, and it's a umbrella, but it's to look like a grappling gun or his grappling hook where he shoots it up in the air and stuff. So it's a little bulky and a little bit as far as the handle. It's kind of weird, but but it's a cool very cool idea. So it's very nice in a case. So let's open it up. And very good quality. And I have a button here. So let's see. I'm going to put this up without hitting my ceiling fan. And you can see that it has the VAT logo. Let's see. One side, two sides. And it's a very good quality. It's very nice. And uh, so, and that's the way it would would hold up. I try to be very careful that I do not get my ceiling fan that I have. So then it pulls in, pulls down, and locks. So very nice, very cool. I don't know how much I would use this. I wouldn't want to necessarily wear it out. So maybe I'd wear it for take it out for special occasions. I think it's too cool, too nice to want to use it all the time. And, uh, but I think it's pretty cool. This might wear out a little bit using it that much. But I think it's, you know, cool for design and everything. So very much like this. I think that's pretty cool. So far, I'm enjoying the box. It's different from what I thought I would be getting. Okay, I have a case. It says this is not a toy. Okay, these little batarangs, but they're disconnect. Let's see. Okay, they come apart. Oh, okay. These are uh, push pins, is what they are. So you can use it for a board, and that's what they are. They're little push pins. So that's cool. So there's two of those. Laying everything down here so I can remember what I got. Okay. And what's this? We got uh, iron-on patches. So Wayne Industries, like the t-shirt emblem. And then, of course, we have the Batman uh, symbol. So that's pretty cool. Again, everything is exclusive through the company. So, so far, very cool. Very happy with this. Okay. We got something small here. Oh, it's one of these little utilities that you can do different things with it. Like a little saw, probably a bottle opener. And it tells me right here what it is. Show you. Get a little closer. 
not too close. You kind of see, hopefully that is focused enough. You can see that. But I'll read it to you. It's a it's an opener, a knife edge, a screwdriver, a ruler, can opener, four position wrench, a butterfly wrench, a saw blade, a direction and ciliary in, in, uh, indication, two position wrench, and a key ring hole. And or I have a buddy who has one like this. It's just a regular brand, obviously not the Batman brand, but he has it. He puts it in his wallet. So one of his pitcher sleeves it is a good, sturdy, little heavy, and uh, but again, kind of cool, kind of neat idea. And oh, that is a little sharp. That could cut your skin. <laughs> the, little, the little saw there. Okay, so that goes in here. So there's a little bit of knickknacks in here. Maybe not necessarily knickknacks I would go buy, you know, or maybe not practical, but they're more like little collectible knickknacks. Okay, so we have that. Now I have two Gotham City PD. Uh, okay, so it's like a little mini evidence envelope, and it's against the Joker. So I have some stats about the Joker on here, and his card It's kind of cool. Actually, it's thick. I can't tell if there's multiple cards or it's just not. It looks like it's just a thick, heavy plastic um, wild card Joker. And so it's pretty cool. I'm not going to open it up, but it has – looks. I don't think it's an envelope. It just looks like it's a cardboard, but to make it look like it's an envelope. And then there's another one. Okay, this one is for Two-Face because the coin, and I bet you the other side is marked. So I am going to open this out of my cur being curious. It looks like it just reseals if I can get it open. It's just kind of sticky. It looks like it reseals. Kind of like those self adhesive comic bags. Okay, I want to see the coin. Yep. Okay, so I mean, okay, so you have the good coin, good side. Then you got the scratch side. You see it closer, it's scratched up. I know, you probably don't see it as well, but I can see it's scratched up. So that's pretty cool. So that is Two Faces coin. So I'll, I'm going to put the scratch side up in the bag. So that's kind of cool. Cool little knickknack and everything. And then one last thing. And then there was an, a lithograph of Batman. And I think this might be David Finch art. I could be wrong, but it just seems like it might be. Yeah, this is David Finch art from, I think, the first issue. So it's nothing too fancy. It's a little beat up in the back a little bit. And that's from where that damage was back here. And But as far as the lithograph goes, it's a slight bubble at one little section on it, just a indent a little bit. But if it's – you can't even tell. And if it's in a uh, frame – it looks perfect. It just looks kind of beat up in the back a little bit and all. But it's not autographed or anything, but it's very cool, very nice. So let's review this. Okay, I'll show you real quick the card, and you kind of can get an overview of what we have and all. I'm moving it. So, so we got the Batman vinyl figure, smoke grenade travel mug, they call it, the um, Batarang push pins, we got the Wayne Industries utility card, we got the mini, po they're calling this a mini poster, but it's really a lithograph, um, then you got the emblem patches, I'll count those as one, because they're in a package, that's six, grappling hook umbrella, seven, your Wayne Industries shirt is eight, and then your Gotham City Police uh, Department dossiers um, would be nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine items as far as packages go. 
obviously dossiers are two and the patches are two and those but you got nine items pretty pretty good i mean i cannot complain at all i'm very happy it's not everything maybe i would have picked out some of the odds and ends stuff but i think it's kind of pretty clever I think it's kind of pretty cool, some unique different things as a Batman fan, just to be able to display and whether or not I really would use it all, I think it's pretty cool. Um I did do um uh, there is there there is a thing that I was able to to um voice some information. They wanted some information about it. So um I didn't know about all these different things in the box. I just knew about the vinyl statue and I knew about the umbrella. And so I, I did make a, uh, a survey, you know, whether it makes a big deal or not, or how many people do the surveys. But I did do on the survey, I'll close this up. I did do on the survey that from their different boxes, if they would have some items that were, were uh, um, consistent, but with a different theme, like the statue. The Batman statue, I think, is awesome. The next theme, if they do a Superman theme down the road or whatever type of theme, um, then you get a little statue of that character. And I think that'd be really cool. Then you're building your DC library of characters. You're getting something exclusive, that same size of statue. Um and I thought that'd be very cool if there was something, you know, one of the things I like about the pop boxes, I usually know what I'm going, going to get. Obviously, I'm going to get a pop. Usually, I'm going to get a, a clothing article um, type of a thing, and some variant comics or whatever. But there's some consistency that I know at least I'm going to get something like that. And you can build up on that in your collection. So, so I knew about the statue, and I was primarily talking about the statue. It would be really awesome. But as I'm looking at this, if they even had – Say they did a Superman theme in the future, and they even did these for a couple of Superman's villains or whoever they would do. These would be really cool to have a little knickknacks and dossier that you kind of collect and build upon. And as you get more boxes, you'll get more of these. Um, same thing as the statue. be cool to have the different statues of different themes and characters. Now, I do know I got an email just today. And I do know um, what the next theme is. I think it's coming out in December, if I'm not mistaken, and it's Wonder Woman. To be honest, I'm not really excited about Wonder Woman. I was really thinking since the Justice League movie was coming out in November, in just a few weeks, um, that we are going to get something, maybe a Justice League box next or a Superman box because Superman and Batman are the top two you know, characters at DC. And But this time, I guess maybe they're capitalizing on Wonder Woman or they're trying to maybe give you some Wonder Woman items. So it's going to depend. Um, I haven't gotten any ideas yet what they're doing. It gets a little closer. Again, this is a three-month box. So it's either coming out December or January because this box, I think, came out, if I'm not mistaken, into September or early October. So I don't know the when the next one officially is coming out. It's either December, end of December, or end of January. Um, so it depends. I'm not really excited about whole Wonder Woman box. I got that with my Funko already. And, but I knew that that was, you know, pops that I cared about. So I don't know exactly if they have a Wonder Woman statue, like the Batman statue in that same style, then I might be inclined, more inclined, um, to get it. And, uh, so it just depends. Not sure, but I really think this is a very awesome box. If you can... If you think this is cool, you can pick this up for a little over $40 um, with the discount, probably with your shipping, um, with the discounts that are out there. And it's very cool because it's the first box that this, this company has done with DC. And, it's, and they're going to continue to do this four times a year, and it's going to be all DC theme related. So this is going to be Wonder Woman. I'm assuming the next one's got to be Superman. They're going to do the big, you know people um and they might tie it in some movies maybe i don't know maybe they're limited because of what funko is doing too um but you know this is different enough from what they did they did a batman box a batman villain box and we've done batman vs superman through the funko line um through the uh legion of uh, collectors so even though there's another box that's exclusive, it's still different stuff. And to me, it's a little bit more high-end type of collectible stuff, the push pins, the cards, and, and some of those other things, than what you necessarily would have gotten in one of those types of boxes and everything. So I think that's kind of cool. Um, 
And, you know, out of a 10, um, just because I'm a big Batman fan, I probably would give this maybe a 9. 8.5 to a 9, just because I think it's pretty awesome, the stuff. I mean, it's different. And some of the stuff I wasn't going out of my way just to buy, to you know, to display. But, I mean, I feel like with the statue, I feel like I got my money's worth. I feel like I got little over $40 worth easy out of this box. And so I'm very happy with that. So I can't complain about that. My son was very happy. He liked the box too. And he thought it was pretty cool. So, you know, um, that's always a plus too. He has a different perspective on a lot of things than I do. So we don't always agree. Um, one quick thing. Last week, I uh, picked up a Vinnie Mate. And... I, let's see if I can open this up. Vinnie Mates are, are the older, ver bigger versions of Mini Mates. And Mini Mates pretty much are a DC Direct or a Previews exclusive thing. And so they've come out and it doesn't really move. So they're kind of like a version, not a very good version, but a very, a version of, of, uh, like a little mini figure, like a Lego or something. But they're very squared. And I'll kind of show you here. So he has a pose. And it's Batman, obviously. So that's why I picked it up. And it was only $10. Got it from Coliseum of Comics in Altamont. And came across it. So it was very cool. Because it's Batman. I'm not planning on buying anybody else at this time. This is Series 1. And the Series... Kind of opened up the bottom here. It's kind of hard to show you. So there is a Green Lantern and a Harley Quinn in this in the other series. The Green Lantern looks kind of cool just because it looks like they did a good job with his ring. But um, you get Harley Quinn or you get Green Lantern. And again, this is only was ten dollars nine ninety nine. Price tag is still on there. So, but since it's Batman, I went ahead and got it, and I thought it'd be very cool uh, to display. And uh, it's heavy, it's solid, but it doesn't move at all. It looks like it moves, but nothing moves at all. But you can buy little mini mates, they call them. And one thing is, I did get a few of these years back, but the problem was the joints would come apart, the helmet, the head pieces would always fall off, not stay tight. And they were just, you know, the joints, they weren't made very well when they first came out. And I know they still put different versions out. So I don't know if they're... You know, the, the pieces are tighter a little bit. So as you're moving them, they're not falling up. You know, p the joints aren't coming apart. So maybe it's made better now. I'm not sure. But they are taller than Legos, little mini ones. But these started showing up, I noticed, uh, the last year or so. And they might have been coming around before that. But I noticed that because they came in some of the uh, nerd block boxes, I believe. It wasn't Geekville. I think it was nerd block before they ended. My son got a uh, Ghostbusters and he got somebody else too one time that he went out and even got I bought him for Christmas last year maybe it was the whole set of the Ghostbuster Vinnie Mates so they call them Vinnie Mates when they're bigger and the smaller ones are Mini Mates and the smaller Mini Mates are posable and they move around but these bigger ones do not so and that was something I think on that video wherever he got that Ghostbusters from I made a mention that that company should lock in on that. I believe it was Nerblock. Now, of course, they're gone, but they put out an Aliens, a Predator at different time. I believe it was them. It could be Loot Crate, but I'm pretty sure it was them who did that. But to me, I've always felt like, you know, you find a niche, and you get something exclusive that only, you know, your subscriber from your subscription box can only get that from you. That's why, you know, a lot of times I've gotten, you know, Loot Crate is, you know, seems to put out the, uh, you know, they seem to be the only ones really putting out um, the the line. You probably can't see it behind me with the Q-Fig line up here, the Q-Fig line. And uh, so, but it seems like they're the only ones doing that. Q, you know, whenever they put out Q-Figs, they do that. And I think Nerblock was the only one putting out the Vinnie Mates. So I think that's cool when people have a certain niche that they do. The old days, it used to be Pops everywhere. But now that you have the exclusive Disney Now um treasure box wherever they're calling that um you know so all the disney pops now are going to be through there or special things and so it's harder for these other companies 
you know, to have that. Now that they built their own specific box, they're not going to compete against themselves and, and give it to Loot Crate, you know, those types of Disney items. So it's going to find a niche of something, and then you can get an exclusive with that. Um, so I'm very happy with this box. I think this box is cool. I'm taking this box to school, and I will put some, some birthday prizes in or treasure box prizes in it because it's a very nice box, and I think it's very, very cool. And I definitely will keep the box. I um, am going to start something up in, in a few. It's going to take me a few weeks to put it together. And I'm going to do Big Stew on comics or Big Stew with comics or something. It'll be on the same channel, and and it'll just come up as a Big Stew video. And I'm going to sit with different people. I have a friend, Kev, and, and my son, um, Michael. And I'm gonna we're going to talk, spend 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, and maybe longer if we ramble, and talk about comics. You know, the current comics, you know, Thor, what's going on in Thor. Um, what do we remember about our first time liking Thor? Um, as far as that goes, what's going on currently now? Or or what do we remember about that character, Thor? I'm just as an example. You know, who, who was writing it, who was drawing it that you really liked it the best in the past? Um, when did you first become involved, you know, aware of that character reading his comics? Were you a, a young kid, an adult, and so forth? So I want to talk a little about different perspective. My son has a younger perspective because he's in his early 20s, and where else um, I'm older and I'm more 80s, 90s is my would be my sweet spot, you would say, that I remember, you know, really enjoying them then. I started reading comics when I was much younger. So I want to do a little bit of comic thing and have some different people just sitting next to me and we talk a little bit and give a couple of perspectives. And uh, and maybe you know, instead of just me giving my opinion about it, somebody else is bringing something else to it. And we will, you know, topic a couple of comics each time and uh, our titles and uh, um, for the video. So that is something I'm trying to work on. I've been wanting to do that. Kind of like a little small mini roundhouse talking about books. And and uh, I think that would be really cool to do that. I don't know of very many podcasts that really just pinpoint certain comics and talk about them. And, and maybe, you know, it will be of interest to people or not. But I try to do things that I'm interested in. So I'll just videotape. Me and a friend and, or me and my son or somebody chatting about some comics, and I think it would be kind of interest. And if it's something that it might interest you where you might be, hey, I remember that, or hey, I'm going to look that up, or hey, I need to check in that book now because it's been a while since I didn't know that was going on. And uh, so – but I'm going to try to put that together, and that's something that I can drop between times I don't have a box – I can put that out. So I have a different video always coming out. But if I don't have a box that's come in, sometimes my boxes all come in at the same time. And uh, or, you know, my boxes, I don't have as many because I've skipped some because they weren't of interest to me. Um, September and October, I have skipped Loot Crate and, um, and Geek Fuel just because there was a very low end superhero stuff in it. And it was more Halloween themed other things. So I need up. You know, skipping those. Now, the October Geek Fuel and October Loot Crate DX, my son ordered that. And so I will do a box opening when those come in, maybe at the end of the month, in a couple weeks. I don't know. I do know I got a Thor on its way, the Funko Marvel box, Thor Ragnarok. So I know that's coming. So that could be our next video. Could be one of my son's um, Geek Fuel Loot Crate Halloween themed video. So, or boxes. And so, those would be whatever we do. So um, sometimes I usually have a lot coming in. I always every week I have something to put out. Now there's been sometimes I put out two things over a weekend just as a surprise because I had tons of extra stuff. So that's why I'm looking to do this comic thing just as something to fill in. Um, you know, I keep joking and, and talking about that I'm going to do the Lego thing. And it's just with my time right now and the fall comes up maybe, I'll have more time to build and rearrange and focus on the Legos and I can do small segments on my Legos to me I don't want to videotape me building something to me that's boring I rather display and show what I've done and then talk about what I've done or added to or modified um, if I've made a mod or whatever it might be and so there's just you know a lot of work still with that as you can tell everything behind me is chaos sometimes and I have quite a collection 
and I do want to talk about these different pops. So, but I do try if I pick up something new, a new pop or new, um, you know, um, Q fig, I always try to show that at the end of the video, anyways. So, anyways, I did not mean for my video to go 35 minutes of me rambling on. I know nobody has that time to, to watch me for 35 minutes. So, I do apologize for that and uh and everything so i am getting over a cold a little bit so my voice might be a little off uh, um anyways so thank you very much my friends for joining me and i hope you had a wonderful time and i hope um if this box interests you then definitely pick this box up you can still get it and and sometimes around holidays if the boxes i've noticed on the subscription boxes sometimes around holidays they give you a bigger sale if you buy something around a holiday and uh, so maybe around Halloween, they might have an even bigger sale. Um, but I know currently, I think you could kind of find a 20% off to 25% off, which is a pretty good deal um, for all this. So anyways, so again, big stew out. Thank you, my friends. And stay safe. I'll catch you later. Bye.